Guys, I am the mother of 16 and I have 11 daughters. That is a whole bunch of skincare and makeup. Today, I'm going to transport my girls back in time and show them 100 years of skincare and makeup. version of Lily and all of the girls and I'm gonna change her to 1920. Are you ready? Uh, I guess. You might not even know this, but I was a makeup artist for two years, but did we ever do the 1920s look? No. So I had to look this up and here are some facts about the 1920s. They didn't have foundation invented yet, like the traditional foundation. So they would just kind of put like a moisturizer and then just cake on the powder, give it kind of that flawless look. In the 1920s, not much was known about skincare. They relied mostly on home remedies because there wasn't any commercial beauty products available back then. Here is the before. Here's your cakey, non-foundation foundation. Next we have the rouge. In the 20s, powder blushes became more popular after the invention of the spill-proof containers and the compact. It was in nice little circles. They didn't like blend up, they just did circles. All right, here comes the eyes. Women would use petroleum jelly like Vaseline and they would mix it with coal. It would give them longer, fuller lashes and kind of a smoky eye. Oh, those are called smoky eyes. All right, and last for the lips. Lips were painted in the shape of a Cupid's bow. Here is the before. Wowza! She looks a little bit like Betty Boop with those lips. 1920s makeup was very new, but how they learned to apply it really shaped how we apply it today. I make him open the
Oh, you guys, I got my makeup done and I look so good. That's why it'll never work. You have me so excited. I'm doing 2010s or something like that. So we're going to see how I did my makeup in the 2010s. Was I in middle school in the 2010s? I honestly have no idea. What just happened? Anyways, we're just going to do the best for my memory. Back in my day, did we have the glow drops? No, no, we didn't. So it looks like I don't really get to use that. I was obsessed with makeup. Can't remember like when that obsession started. I want to say fifth grade. I don't. How old was I in the 2010s? See, 2017. I was 17. Oh wait. You can do this. I would have been. I was born in 1999. So would I have been 11? That would be a yes. Okay, we're not gonna do 2010s. Don't tell my mom. We're gonna do like. We're gonna do like high school for me because I can't remember that far back. I'm gonna do like 2016. Which still counts, by the way. I was obsessed with makeup in high school. I did a full face of makeup every single day. It was actually insane. I don't think I went to school once with like minimal makeup. I loved, I was obsessed with doing my makeup every single day. It was just such a fun thing. I like looked forward every morning waking up and doing my makeup different. It's so funny. When I was in high school, I struggled with acne. And I still struggle with acne. I thought like after you're done with high school, you're supposed to have, like have perfect clear skin. I know, right? It's like, why do I not have that? That just sucks. That's not fair. My mama don't like you, and she likes everyone. And I know. Girl, I hope you're sure what you're looking for. Honestly, the eyes literally look perfect. This is exactly what I would have done in high school. Now for the face. After the foundation, I would always bake in high school. So we're gonna get the powder out. I usually just literally bake right under my eyes. And then I bake on the sides of my nose. Meet you where you been. I could show you incredible things. Magic is a one by the day. Let's wipe this powder away. Next, we have blush. Now, blush definitely was a thing, but I feel like we didn't use as much blush as we did now. The new blush was old highlighter. I feel like now in today's world, we pack on the blush and like you can never have too much blush. Back then, you can never have too much highlighter. How you knew where your blush went is you smiled and you just put it right on the apples of your cheeks. I feel like now we like take it higher or something. Nope, not then. Can't hold it back you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that I feel bass. like I really nailed the makeup. I feel like this is exactly what I would do, except for the lips would have been much darker. I don't know how I feel about this hairstyle. I got my makeup done. All right, guys, so I just barely got my makeup done. And this is my hair. Oh, yeah. This is my final look. All right, guys, that is 100 years of makeup. I hope you loved it. Stay tuned for the next video where we do our hair. Bye, guys. Love you. Yeah.